Look at that fish. <laughs> that is a toad. Best fish of my life. Fishing for River Monsters Season 2, Episode 3 is coming at you guys. This series has officially started knowing that we're already on Episode 3. We have been catching some giants. I'm so excited to bring you guys out today because we are actually fishing a pond that is connected to a swamp. So there's gonna be some giant nasty looking bass in here um, with some awesome patterns on them. This tannic water up in here is just beautiful. And uh, all the markings on the fish that we're gonna pull out of here are just awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and hop into today's video, but I do kinda wanna show you guys what I'm throwing before we hop right into it. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also hit the like button if you guys want more of these videos. So we have two rods and reels sitting down right here that I brought out with us today. First combo is actually a Pro TI by Luz. And the bait that I actually have on there is just a very light finesse jig in black and blue. I mean, if you guys are wondering about the line, it's actually 17 pound fluorocarbon. And on this other reel right here, this is a Mach 2 by Luz. You know, I've been using this one a lot. And what I have on here is actually a Quake by Six Sense, but I'm not gonna be throwing that. I'm actually gonna cut this bait off right now. And I have a Divine Swim Jig over here by Six Sense. If you guys wanna get 10% off on any of this stuff, I will leave it below. But this is actually a bluegill pattern and it's got a stroker crawl on the back of it. Just a beautiful looking swim jig, a little more finesse but a moving bait at the same time, more than this trap. You know, it's putting off a ton of vibration, and recently the fishing's been a little tough, so we're gonna come over to the swim jig and give that a shot. So since we talked about the bait, since we talked about where we're fishing today, let's go ahead and hop in to episode three of Fishing for Giants. Let's get it started. Giant. How am I gonna get him? This bank's not flat. Oh. Got a bunch of wind coming across, which is awesome actually. The wind is your friend when it comes to bass fishing, guys. You know, it, it'll help you get, it, it'll turn a tough day into a much more easier day if you got some wind. But uh, I don't know if they're gonna bite. It's, it's been tough. This whole past week has just been so rough. But uh, hopefully that'll get you uh, freaking out the heck do I have just right here oh okay I don't know what I just hooked I probably should have checked my line oh, that water's coming in right there that should be sauce where I caught my first fish of 2020 money not a bad one looks like about a two pounder I ain't about a pound and a half okay on the swim jig, he's up there eating bait. Look how he ate it too. That's good. And that could have been just because of, of a precise cast up there in moving water, or that could have been that they want the swim jig. But I'm not gonna complain either way. He ate it. Beautiful little bass right there. Get him back in the water. Let's try to catch another one. Can't tell how big he is. Oh, it's a crappie. What? Wow. Wow. That's all I got to say about that is wow. On a jig? Are you kidding? <laughs> what? I, I caught a crappie on a jig. I know this is a smaller jig, but wow. Okay. Uh, that was actually kind of fun. That was very interesting, but okay. Um, I mean, Dude, we got some fish seriously eating. We got to keep throwing. Yo, decent one right there. Yep. God, this is crazy. Fishing a natural flowing creek. Oh, gosh, yes. Not a giant, but gosh, that's a good one. On the jig, look at that. Oh yeah, beautiful colors on these fish. You can tell they're just in this tannic water. They're a lot more darker and uh, just really beautiful. Wow. Oh man, they are feeding up there. 
you just got to get that bait in the right spot and once it's up there we'll hammer it we got to find your mom got to find the big dudes Yeah, he is. <laughs> Knock so much slack in my line. <sighs> wow. Really? You decided to eat the swim jig? You did? What? Like the ones we were catching this morning. We don't like that. I'm tired of catching those. So as you guys can tell by the title, we are in some swampy waters. Now you guys are probably saying, Noah, what does that really mean? Like, how are you in the swamp? So let's go ahead and take a little journey back here into the woods and kind of see the area that we're in and uh, where the fish are actually sitting up right here. So here is the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pond. And right here behind it, I'm, I'm gonna try to be careful because there might be some gators in here and, and crap like that. But look at all the water back there. Cypress trees, Spanish moss up all over this place. Look at all the water back there. It's probably hard to tell on the camera. Let's walk over this way. There we go. I don't know what's in the water right there. But look at this. This is a straight swamp that is pouring right into this pond. And you guys are probably wondering that tannic water, that's where it's coming from, is right in here. So miles and miles of all this stuff back in the woods is the swamp. So we were throwing up right over there. This is the swamp that's leaking right into it. So you can tell there's like kind of a little path. I don't think I can really step on this. It's pretty wet. But if you look a little further back there, it's really hard to see. There's actually a creek that is flowing right into this pond. And that's where all that natural water is coming from is this nasty swamp up here in the woods. Just look at all this. This is actually really neat. Just crazy how all these trees and all this cypress trees, Spanish moss, just honestly really creepy looking stuff just feeds into this beautiful pond. Right there. It's every time you get that cast. Oh. Every time, I just can't, I'm not getting on it perfectly. Like you gotta get a centimeter from the bank. And the problem is right there. Yo, yo, that's a big one. Ooh, that's a big one. Oh, here we go. Fishing for giants, baby. Fishing for giants. He's running at me. Oh! Mmm! Get you some of that. That gets you pumped up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, that's what we come here for. Fishing for giants beautiful one right there we're still looking for bigger ones but that is our first solid fish today yeah that's what we like baby hit the like button that's exactly what i was saying on that cast if you get the right cast is game over and guys this jig is so small and finesse so they're watching that water what they're doing is they're watching that water come in and when they see something with this tiny small presentation moving really fast past them it they just they're natural like i said a bass is a predator their natural thing to do is just to engulf it and that's why like if i get that cast in the right spot it's just over like it's literally over like they they just don't even think you don't have to trick them like a lot of people think fishing's just you know figuring out the fish and doing this this and that like a lot of it goes down to that you're casting like that's it that's the cast right there i needed to be probably I'd say two or three more inches up on the bank, but that's pretty close to the cast I've been doing. And once you get it, and you guys see how this is replenishing, you can't do this any other spots unless you find something like this. I mean, you can't just start, unless you're finding them on a drop off, hard bottom, offshore on some structure, but shallow like this, like that cast. Gosh, that is a good one right there. Two pounder all day. <sighs> Freaking hybrid jig. 
Did a little skipperoo. Look how they eat that thing too. That is a fatty. Heck yeah. Skimming it up on the bank. Hybrid jig with the stroker curl on the back of it. Bluegill pattern. Fat bass. Let's get it. That is a beautiful, dense one right there. Thank you for biting, brother. I don't mind catching them like that. We're looking for big juice. Well, big juice, where you at, big juice? I just want to feed you a swim jig. So right now, I'm actually going to retie our rods. Retie our rods. I swear, I act like you guys are with me, but you guys are technically with me, right? You know, I take you along the journeys almost every single day. But uh, <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna retie the swim jig right here. And I'm also gonna retie the finesse jig. I got a couple phrases in my line. That's always something important to think about guys, especially when you're trying to catch those big fish. You don't wanna lose any. I mean, you don't wanna lose any fish or break off. So, and then more importantly, you don't really wanna lose any bait. So always retie and always check your line, especially when you're fishing around stuff that has a lot of rocks, trees, lay downs, a bunch of cover in the water. Well guys, this is uh, <laughs> what am I doing? This is what I'm throwing now on uh, fishing for giants. Just, uh, you know, completely normal. This thing just, you know, slays. It's a seeker that everybody's been hiding from us. It's a white Sanko on the back of a black and blue one eighth ounce jig. It's just a juice, man. Giant, giant, giant. On the on the pink or the white Sanko. Guys, go! Oh, oh, no. How am I gonna get him? This bank's not flat. Oh. Oh, he's not 10, but he's a giant. a six pounder oh in the same spot as i caught my 2020 fish this might be him bro or he might be bigger oh my god thank the lord thank the lord thank the lord he i had him too guys he was not coming off wait till you guys see what i just caught this fish on oh oh fishing for giants baby it took all day for me to get this bite all day long this is what i caught him on i caught this mega six plus pounder on this oh my gosh what a giant fishing for giants baby beautiful fish oh, on a white Senko one eighth ounce black and blue jig fishing for giants baby now that is a giant that is a mega right there Let's get him back in the water and try to catch another one. I wish I had someone over here to take a picture of me, but uh, I guess we're gonna have to just release her. We want her to stay, be safe back in the water. Thank you so much for biting, baby. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah. Oh, boys. What do you think about that one? I mean, what am I doing, bro? It's freaking wet on the ground. All right, guys, we've been waiting. We've been fishing the spot for probably two and a half hours making the same cast. I was just waiting on a big one to pull up and I caught him on a 1 8 ounce black and blue jig with a white Sanko trailer. If that, if that is not as backwards as fishing gets, then I don't know what it is. All I gotta say is 2020 is already good. It is, what the heck guys? Hit the like button. That was way too perfect for Fishing for River Monsters episode three.
I guess third time's the charm, baby. I forgot my scale, I'm sorry. Um, if you guys are wondering why, it's actually in my boat, so. Last video I filmed was a um, was a river monsters video, and I freaking brought the scale on the boat and totally left it in there. So I do apologize about that. I'm kind of mad I didn't get the weigh that fish, but I know for a fact that that was over six pounds every single bit of it. That is unbelievable, man! Unbelievable to catch a bass that, of that size, that big. My first fish of 2020 was pretty identical. I think that one was almost bigger than the first one which is scary because the first one was really big. So that was every bit of six pounds. And uh, man, next time we're gonna have that scale out there. Seriously, on a serious note, I apologize for that.